It's the 21st of August, at about quarter to nine. And that looks like the Finnmarken, our Hurtigruten ferry, coming in through the opening to this fjord. <laughs> our ferry to all the folks on the front deck there having a look at their docking procedure what's it the SS Finnmark and is it presumably soon we'll be somewhere on board there and those people on deck okay so it's now 11.14 still on the 21st and we've just got on board the ferry called the Finnmarken and this is deck number eight where apparently you can sit and have a drink. This is Kirkenes from the top of the deck number eight on the ferry. We've boarded the ferry that gives you an idea of the boats and everything like that. Now our house, while well, I was asleep around, there's not much more to see that side. Our house where we stayed was somewhere up there on that hill. It's a little bit, a little bit bright, but um, that's us leaving Kekkenes. Here we are in the cabin of the Hurtigruten ferry. We've just got on board and Beverly's been packing and unpacking and sorting all of her things out, so her suitcase is on that bed, which fold, that, that's a, like a couch, but it folds out into a bed like this one here under my suitcase. It's pretty natty actually. It's got it's got a neat little bathroom which I'll show you in a minute. It's got cupboards. It's even got its own little bit of a picture on the wall. And here on the right is what you wouldn't call a porthole but it's a it's a hole and you can see there's a lifeboat outside our window but you can see the sea outside so it's lovely. So it's um, pretty comfortable I'd say there wouldn't you? He wants to get everything organized. Okay, so there's the door to our cabin and the bathroom is here. I'll we'll take you into the bathroom. There you are. There's a little shower in the corner there. There's gel gels and things and towels and the toilet there. And quite remarkably, it's much in the front of it. Um, hair dryer and basin, hand wash. It's, it's compact. I mean, I've going to be uh, toweling yourself down in a very sort of expansive way but it's nifty I really like it I really really like it and come out of here and then we're looking towards the window to give you an idea So it should be very exciting. 
Square of Hammerfest on the coast of Mjol, Norway. Over here is the city hall, I guess, the Rad Hays. And you can see there that it's um, 9 degrees centigrade and the time is about 11.15. And up above the city on the, on the hills, um, there's a walkway which you can climb, I see, and then there seem to be snow barriers, like slatted um, barriers to stop the snow from falling on the city I guess although it's not not the most beautiful city I've ever seen it's the, the furthest north city in the world apparently with having a latitude equal to Siberia walking down there but the, probably the most interesting landmark to look at is that extraordinary looking church down at the end of the road there I'll give you a look at it. It's a, well, we've seen another one similar, but not quite as big, like a giant cheese wedge. It's the Hapas 3 on the 22nd of August, sailing along on the Hutti Grutten. You can see in the distance there's a bit of a rain squall going there. And just to give you some idea of what the, the coastline looks like here, waterfalls coming down there. And we're looking up here, presumably into quite a big fjord, going all the way up there, and you can see in the distance more mountains. You need to go to a supermarket and buy it. Right. Um, we have it as snacks, the dry pot. So it's like potato chips, a replacement for potato chips. Uh, but since it's super dry, you have to drink some. And all the men in Norway will claim, well, the best thing to drink together with this fish is a local beer. Uh, because we don't think nobody dares to have a waving competition with MS Finnmark. We always have, we always have more flags and more people. So we win, no matter what. Now the screen in the reception, which shows where the ferry is at the moment. And we're not very far from the origin, so there we are there. And you can see how incredibly broken the coast is. This is like an aerial photograph. Fjordland Deluxe. Some tall mountains, some not so tall. And then inlets going into the distance. And then the old, rather large blue mountain there with crags at the top. Just incredible landscape, you know, it's you, just endlessly beautiful and you want to take pictures all of the time. 22nd of August at oh, 7.30 about and we just docked at this town with the sun shining beautifully on the little wooden houses on the hill and the town's name, uh, you can try and pronounce it, Skjoldrevi. Okay. There we go around there. And, um, a little church up in the hill over there. The Lutheran church. We've just noticed the fish farm. We actually saw some quite big fish jumping in one of those pens. I'm sure we won't see them now, but and that must be the processing outfit that Leroy, it's not Leroy, is it? It's Leroy. 
are they in the third one? Anyway, fish farm. It's the 23rd of August, 8.30 in the morning. And we've docked at a town called Harstad, H-A-R-S-T-A-D. Um, it's a fairly big city actually. Um, some modern buildings. And of course, uh, well, I don't know if there's a graffiti or if that's, that's um, part of the civic, the civic uh, modernization. But um, a fairly substantial place, really. Um, once again, with the little wooden houses and buildings. Okay, we're following the stretch channel. Down at the base there. 23rd of August, and we've just gone along a very shallow channel, which is especially dredged for the Hurtigurt to come to these little towns. Uh, away from the coast and you can see um, there's this bridge that we're about to pass through so we didn't go under the bridge and we did a turn turn you see beautiful um, glacial sort of cirques that way and here we're about to dock and well, it's a very small little port really Staying here for half an hour and spectacular glacial scarp there. Okay, this is Stock Martness and another one of those slender bridges and a space for the trawler to go out underneath. And um, this actually is where the Hurtigruten have a museum and the the ship that we're on at the moment is called the Finnmarken and there's a, a previous version of the Finnmarken. And then once again the sort of mountain backdrop with the very well kept little wooden houses. And you can see the size of those cliffs, the slope on those cliffs is, is very acute. If you look at the Hoti group crowds going in, across into the museum at Stockmarnes. You can see it's mostly older people. I must say some of them are quite infirm. Occasional kid and, and like teenager. Mostly older folk. And these seem to be some passengers joining the ship here waiting for the crowds to come off. They're all going onto the, the Hertigruten Museum. And you can see some, look like holiday cottages maybe, I don't know, along the coast here. I'm looking away from the city just to show you these this, this quaint little cottages on the coastline here. And then looking up, up towards the inlet and you can see a little fishing boat or something going across and then right across there to the forests and the village on the edge of the water and you can see our cabin is underneath you see the two lifeboats there our cabin is just under the second lifeboat right there so it's quite fantastic you can come out of our cabin we're around the corner and on the door through the door and you're onto a deck that runs all the way around the ship it's fantastic so extraordinary scenery with these mountains that are so photogenic. Have a look at that in the distance with the bridge over there. We're now coming past this little island here. So very quaint. The granite island. The lighthouse on it. Wow, that's the vegetation there. It's gorgeous. Oh, that is great. through this narrow gorge soon. Uh, here there's a bridge coming. We're going under a bridge here. The car's going over. I love the vegetation. And then, oops. Here we go under the bridge here. Oh my goodness, I've fulfilled my ambition and I can make a wish. There you are, we've gone under a bridge and I've made a wish. And I'm not telling you what it is. down this narrow channel on the way to the Foton Islands. But they're not where we've come from. It's the way not. Oh, there's a bridge that we went on. 
before. And, um, I see some sea eagles there. I see some eagles there. Two of them. Uh, I can't see them though. Where are they? There we go. I'm the closest I'm going to get to a sea eagle, I think. Nice. Sorry, you just can't resist. This is so beautiful. And look how pretty this is here. It's unbelievably attractive. The mosses, the light green mosses on the, on the surfaces that catch the light. Sailing away. Beautifully calm here this morning after quite a rough night with the sea. A very strong southerly wind right in our face. And we've come around here. Us, us uh, southern hemisphere people are always fascinated by any sign of snow. So remnant snow up there on the mountains in the distance. Uh, you will find it on the name there at the bottom. See if you can pronounce it. You can see in the black writing at the bottom of the sign that says Brunje Haven KF. There you go. And this is a rather cute little new harbour building with office offices. And up there above the round window is a model, looks like a model of a ferry. So somebody's taken a little bit of trouble to put a model up there, it's rather nice. You can see right through the top of this hill, there's a tour of the whole fruit. And you can just see the light. So this is Tron time in the morning, it's about quarter past eight. It's an overcast but a really nice and calm day and you can see all these old Chandler's houses here converted into flats I guess. And this um, canal type arrangement with all the yachts and things moored right in town, really. Low hills covered with pines and things sweeping around and that looks like the city centre up there um, with a cathedral spire and around of the city up on the hill there. It's the cathedral in Trondheim. And so there was a spread of dotted graves out there. And it's quite an imposing building with a very tall copper spire that you can see from miles around. It's pretty imposing. Of the Trondheim Cathedral and the facade is just full of sculptures. Pretty impressive. I'd like to see that window from the inside. Another view of the cathedral with Beverly in the foreground in Trondheim. It seems, I'll show you, I, you know, one can't resist showing the church spire, forgive me. But um, it's quite surprising that this is, a, this is a major city in Norway, but nothing is open and it's nearly nine o'clock. So that's, I can now understand where I, where I get my my jeans from, my sleeping jeans. Probably don't get the same effect on film, but you get a, it's, these cobbles have a mesmerizing effect. They sort of swim when you look at them. Here's the little island in the middle of the Trondheim Fjord thing. And then looking across to the other side of the, the fjord is the suburb. Presumably people catch a ferry to work. And then just going around slowly, you can see a bit of rain and mist on the other side of the bay there. And then all the way up. Amazing. Uh, 
length of tunnel is 5.7 kilometers, and when you are at the lowest point, 250 meters below sea level, uh, you receive blue lighting, blue st uh, street light. Data uh, attraverso di questa uh, strada, ma a un altezza più più alto. joins a series of islands with bridges and there's a tunnel as well and we've just stopped to uh, have, have a look at something called a stave church. These are the decorations on the insides of the walls and the same thing is found on the roof. And then going forward. That's uh, apparently a warship, I like it. And then trying to get a bit more detail here from angle and there's the pulpit over here. Here is the old barn where we've had bacalao. Three bus loads of human beings squashed into the barn and we had bacalao but I really like the roof of this place don't you? Got, got a plant roof. Apparently the barn's pretty old but it's been refurbished a few times so. And there the young girl is at the door with her dried cod. This looks like an old mill race here on the right. And then it's just beautiful evening on this on the lowland, I guess. The evening light is gorgeous. We just had the meal in the restaurant behind me. This is the Atlantic Road. It's a series of very high-tech roads linking islands right across for quite a long distance. And tunnels that run under the water, so there's one of the extraordinary bridges there. It's okay, keep going. It's alright. Um, there's, a, there's a walkway around this little headland, and our bus, bus has just emptied a lot of people off it. And so you can see it's rather, it's the, uh, the vegetation on this, on this rocky hill is just amazing. But if you go around to the right, I'll give you some idea of, and there's a bit of rain coming. Sweep around and you can see, oh, it's a sort of series of very low rocks sticking up out of the water and um, all linked by this Atlantic Road. We're, we're on the um, Atlantic Highway in Norway but I'm, I'm looking at this rock here and I'm absolutely loving the vegetation on this rock. There's little, I don't know if you can see there, some little red flowers and there's a sort of a, a heath. Could it be Erica of some kind? But the vegetation is just beautiful. It reminds me a bit of around around uh, Admiral's Arch, you know, uh, remarkable rocks on Kangaroo Island. It's got that feel about it. And then, of course, you know, because we're in a very cold, much colder area, you get these sort of um, mats of of moss on the rocks and lichen. It's like magnificent. Still getting a bit crazy about the vegetation. Have a look at this little gully. It's got ferns and, and mosses. It's just beautiful. If you could have that in your garden, man, it's absolutely gorgeous. On this island. On... Today is the 26th of August and it's a Sunday. And you can see the ladies in the jacuzzi on the stern of the ship there having a nice chat in the warm bubbly water. But I've actually come up here to, oh there they are there, if you want a closer look. I've actually come up here to show you this sort of changed landscape. Um, we're, I don't know how far we are from Bergen, but um, probably no more than 100 k's. And you can see that the, the coastline here is sort of low, rocky look. And, uh, and that's very, very typical of that uh, a sea road, the Atlantic Sea Road, very much like it. So lots of rocks, like this kind of idea here. You know? Lots of sort of low rocks. I would imagine navigation inshore would be a bit hazardous. 
the very far distance you can see the mountains. Blue Mountain. Yes, there's our ferry that we came in on. So we are sort of one dock away from the main shopping dock area, which is this here, where the little boat's going out. And along this side here are all those old buildings, those preserved buildings with uh, shops and souvenir shops and everything. <laughs> 